Bill. Bill. Ah, change of pace. A threat. <laughs> Eisenhower and Lotz. No, Mr. Eisenhower isn't in. He's in Switzerland. <laughs> uh, one moment. A prospective client. Barnett Lust Jr. Yes, sir. I think our rates are competitive. Credit cards? Certainly. What are you in jail for, sir? Purse snatching. Uh huh. Uh huh. And, uh, and and the name that appears on your credit card? Harriet Milgram. <laughs> you should have seen it. There are ambulances and paramedics. I mean, whoa, 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 whoa. Dwayne, 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 Dwayne. Calm down. Now, what happened? I was at the I, that, Dwayne. <laughs> I was at the courthouse delivering those papers for you. Yeah. When all of a sudden, I guess this attorney keeled over and died just as he completed his summation. <whistles> but isn't that a great way to go? I mean, doing what you love best. I'm not sure that'd be in front of a jury, Dwayne. <laughs> when I shuffle off, I want to be somewhere as great, like a Motel Six. <laughs> great big soft bed surrounded by my loved ones. Great, big, soft, loved one. So who died? Uh, George Van Atta. I think he's with your friend, Miss Dunsfer. Oh, poor Kay must be absolutely beside herself with grief. Who could they ever find to replace a top-notch legal mind like... George? <laughs> Van Atta. Tell me why, tell me why We love you like we do You're short on smart and long on cute And honesty was never your strongest suit But me, oh my When you do the things you do There ought to be a law protecting girls From boys like you There ought to be a law protecting girls From boys like you Griffin, McKendrick, and Dunn. Yes, we're all very grieved. Mr. Van Atta was one of a kind. The florist must have gotten this wrong. <laughs> Did anyone happen to find out what the verdict was? Duncan, George is dead. Where are your priorities? Ms. Dunn, that uh, call from Washington, are you up to taking it? Oh, well, maybe I should. Just to get it over with. Okay, Dunn. Fine, how are you, Whitney? What? I can't believe it. Oh, this is the most fabulous news. Thank you. Oh, wow. Uh, did I say thank you? Okay, okay, well, I'll see you then. Bye. Okay, I... I came as soon as I heard. I didn't even know you knew George. George? Many is the night we sat in that bar across from the courthouse and, and bared our souls to each other. My only comfort is that he's with his maker. George was a confirmed atheist. And a God-fearing one. <laughs> well, I guess there won't be any services. Um, then maybe you'd like to have these? <laughs> Times like this, uh, really helps to have a $35 bouquet. How oh, thoughtful. Buddy, hmm? I really need to talk to someone. I'm here for you, Kay. Hey, we, we all miss the George guy. <laughs> Are all the offices here this nice? Pretty much. George's, um, would his be about the same size as this? But 
Doug. Huh? If you're hinting that you might be the person to replace George, let me be frank, I don't think that we'd match up. This firm and you. That's not to say that you're not a good lawyer. It's just a question of style. For instance, there are, are firms where I wouldn't fit in. Name one. Well, yours. <laughs> I see. And you're not uh, hurt or Hurt? <laughs> no, of course not. Oh, good, because wait till you'll hear what I just heard about. <laughs> are you ready for this? I have argued a case all the way up to the Supreme Court of the United States. Gee, that's just swell. Why don't we go out tonight, bud? I'll make reservations at the Taos Grill. We can dance, get fully on champagne, and really celebrate. A great success? Yeah. Gee, as fun as that sounds, and it sounds like a real treat. <laughs> I can't. But? Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to get back to my miserable clients, the wretched refuse of the desert. <laughs> You won't mind if I take these, then? Might bring a little cheer into their pathetic lives. Adios. We'll have a bottle of the 79 Moringa Rich Cabernet. I think you guys will find the 78 is better. No, it's just more expensive. The 79 is better. Ma'am, I do know a little bit about wine. <laughs> I'm not in the mood to argue. Ted, is it? Let's try the 78. Good move. <laughs> I'm sorry I took so long. I couldn't remember if I was a muchacho or a muchacha until I, uh, I found myself in a room with a couple of muchachos. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm so pleased that you could make it, Dodie. I, I know this case means as much to you as it does to me. Ms. Dunn, um, I like my job, and you're a lovely person to work for, but I have a life outside the office. My children, my grandchildren. Oh. If you don't mind my asking, Ms. Dunn, have you ever thought about having a family? Well, of course I have. I was married twice. <laughs> sometimes marriages just don't work out, okay? I mean, sometimes these things just happen. Twice. <laughs> Perhaps you were a little too... Oh, I don't know. Uh, intimidating, dear. Oh, that's silly. I don't intimidate people. There you are. The Marengo Ridge 78. Mm. That's just as I thought. 78 was the year they had that blight. Sip this swill, Teddy. <laughs> you might learn a little something. Now run along and get us the 79. No, the Redskins are hurting me right in the wallet. I'm gonna do my shoulders. Okay. Oh, oh they're really tense. Did you have a bad day? Yeah, but this helps. I could use this every night. Well, if we live together, Ah, uh, like... gee, Megan. You can call me old-fashioned. I, I, I just don't think that two people who aren't married... Let's get married. Go by. Honey, honey, I, I, I really couldn't do that to you. Why not? Because you you haven't fully realized your potential as a person. I don't think I have all that yes, much. Yes, you do. You've got potential up the gazoo. And if we, were to, if we were to stifle it right now by rushing into marriage, well, you'd resent me for the rest of your life. No, I wouldn't. Yes, you would. Men really respect women who take charge of their lives. I didn't think you liked strong women. Well, I do. Give me a beer, will you? <laughs> sure. Thanks. Bud, do you respect me? Come here, come here. What are you talking about? No, no, I, I know you like the way I look and the way we make love, but, I mean, do you really like me if I wasn't a woman? But you are a woman. No, but you just said that men respect women who are strong, which implies I'm not. I mean, okay, I know I'm not, which must mean you don't. Right 
Do we have to do this with a minute and a half left in a game and the score tied? <laughs> The thing is, dear, may I call you Kay? Dear is fine. <laughs> Men are burdened with these egos, and you scare them off. I don't think I'd do that. A waiter. <laughs> what the hell do you have to do to get a cup of cappuccino around here? Oh, sir? Mm -hmm. I hate to bother you, but I just can't finish this delicious pumpkin flan, and I know my grandson Timmy will. I'll wrap it right up for you. Thank you. Uh, and while you're here, sir, uh, could I trouble you for a cappuccino for my friend? You betcha. <laughs> you know, when you call a 22-year-old waiter, sir, you're being subservient to someone who's supposed to be working for you. Dear? If you know so much about dealing with people, why are you spending such an important evening with me? Well, there is this man. I guess I might threaten him in some ways. I mean, with my success and his lack of it. Oh, you mean Mr. Lutz? <laughs> well, he's very attractive, if a little rough around the edges. Dear, let him be the man. I'm sure he's quite good at it. Please, almighty, would you look at this? Bunch of Deadwood senators want to take away the money from Star Wars. Now, that's exactly what is wrong with big government. Guy makes a hit movie, and they want a piece of it. Hi, Millie. Big bud. Hi. Hey, darling. What's that? Oh, I guess I'm sick of waiting tables in a cocktail lounge. I'm looking for something with more of a future. Terrific. Trouble is, I never finished high school. I was in my senior year at Las Vegas High when I met my ex-husband, Mickey. Here he was, this hot new stand-up comic. He could have had dozens of showgirls, but he fell in love with me. I fell in love with a topless dancer once. <laughs> I believe that was yesterday. Anyway, he got this job in Reno, and he asked me to go with him, so I did. High school didn't seem real important at the time. Yeah, I dropped out of high school, too, talking about you're overrated, bunch of useless junk you never use, algebra, Biology. Spelling. Yeah. So I educated myself. I read every good book I could get my hands on. Damn, I didn't read. I watched the miniseries. <laughs> but yeah. I've been thinking about what you said last night. I've decided to go back and finish my last semester of high school. Hey, that's great. Isn't it? Yes. I start Thursday night. This Thursday? Mm-hmm. There's a football game. But I don't really like to watch football. When I do, I'm usually rearranging my closet in my head. Well, it's no fun to watch alone. I... You could get somebody else to watch. I don't want to watch with somebody else. Well, then you're going to have to get used to watching it alone. I've already changed my schedule at Tonga Tiki so I can go to school every Monday and Thursday nights. What? We'll never see football together again. That's the sacrifice we're both going to have to make if I'm going to take charge of my life. <laughs> Who the hell told her to take charge of her life? <laughs> Millie. If you want me to watch with you, it's going to cost you six fifty an hour plus mileage. <laughs> Boy, talk about your slow sushi days. <laughs> Mr. Lutz, you got anything for me to do? What are you doing Thursday night, Dwayne? Thursday night? Yeah. Uh, oh, I'm going to the ABA convention. One of my law professors gave me a couple of tickets. Whoa, would you like to go? Chief Justice Rehnquist is speaking on differentiating the ground rules for admissibility and the controlling rules for decision-making. Come on, CJ, get with it. Find something new to talk about. Eisenhower and Lutz, one moment. Miss Dunn. Yeah, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll take it in there. Bud. Uh, I just wanted to apologize for the other day. I guess with George's death and that little Washington thing of mine. 
I, I wasn't entirely thinking of you. Anyway, uh, Thursday night, Chief Justice Rehnquist is speaking at... Oh, yes, I agree. Yawn City. <laughs> so anyway, I was wondering if there was anything you'd like to do. Football on TV. <laughs> I'd love it. What? How about your place? <laughs> okay, wait a minute. Let me write it down. Your dress. Right. Okay, one more thing, bud. I'd love to cook you a fabulous gourmet meal. <laughs> This is Dan Rather. Is legalization the real answer to America's drug problem? The story tomorrow on the CBS Evening News. Now stay tuned as charges of fraud send Chris and Mary Beth undercover as contestants on a crooked game show on Cagney and Lacey next.